Okay, we've got another email here. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. It asks the question, uh, sisters wants to know, why do we wear hijab? Is it far uh, obligatory or is it just a sunnah, something that is not required? Okay, first of all, let's talk about is it required. Look in the Quran, chapter 24, verse 31, that's Surah An-Nur. And then again in chapter 33, verse 59, that's Surah Al-Hasab. And Allah is clearly talking about covering up and not showing off your shape, not showing your body, not defining the, the contour of the body. That's very important. And therefore, of course, that rules out this um, spandex and tight blue jeans and things like this without a doubt. At the same time, the colors could vary, and uh, as long as they're not attracting attention, the idea is to protect yourself from the unwanted stares and gazes of the men, and whether or not they're looking or not looking, it's your job to protect yourself by doing this, and then Allah will, of course, protect you in return. Let us now mention something else. Oh, okay, we got another one. Okay, it's asking about shaking hands at work. Is it okay to shake hands at work? Well, of course it's okay to shake. You can shake hands any... Oh, uh, 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 probably you're asking about a man shaking hands with a woman. It doesn't say that here, but I can, I can understand that's probably what you're talking about. Men can shake hands with men. Women can shake hands with women. And close relatives shake hands with each other, men or women, no problem. And an, a real old man, of course, or an old lady, anybody can shake hands with them. And the little children, of course, anybody can shake hands with them as well. Where the problem comes in is when we're talking about people who are of the uh, full majority, or in other words, they're past puberty. These are mature adults who are not related, and they are out here shaking hands, such as in business and things like that. And a, a lot of the scholars I spoke to said it'd be better if they didn't do it. But if they did it, they wouldn't be considered like a major sin, but it would be better not to do it. In my own case, I don't want to shake hands with uh, a woman because you know, I think it's not impolite and I'm imposing on her. It's not really fair for me to touch her, is it? So what I do is usually tell them in Islam, you know, we give full respect to the women. And we don't touch the hands of the beautiful ladies. Only the old and the ugly. And you don't qualify on either case. And they usually say, oh, thank you. <laughs> well, that's it for the mailbox today. Uh, we'd have more coming in. And I want you to check us out on the internet at the is, uh, website is islamnewsroom.com then just type in the keywords that you're looking for there and because we have so many of them that have already been answered you can go back and pull it up over there that's islam newsroom and go to the search box there and you'll be able to get the answers that you're looking for right there until next time that's the mailbox peace assalamu alaikum wa